Hello class, this is a video tutorial on geometry. In this video, we'll be looking at labeling geometric objects. Geometry is a branch of mathematics that works with the properties of points, angles, lines, and shapes, as well as the relationships between these. The most basic skill needed when it comes to geometry is labeling geometric objects. So I'm gonna be going through different geometrical objects and showing you um, how to label them and what they are. So to begin with our points. The most basic geometric object in mathematics is a point. We, 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 we can just imagine a point is just some dot in a 2D space and it is labeled with one capital letter. So this is point A, this is point B, we can imagine a point C here, or we can uh, imagine a point X here. And notice how all of them are capital letters. So the next geometric shape is a line, ray, and segment. So a line is a straight object that extends infinitely in both ends. So this is line a b so it is a line that if we can just imagine it extending forever and ever in both ends we could also label it with a lowercase letter e so this is line a b so let me write this down here we can say that this is line a b or we can say that it is line lowercase e or whatever letter we choose for this one whoops a ray extends infinitely just on one end so if we start from p to q but notice how this extends infinitely in one end Right, so this is what's known as a ray. So if, it's, if it has an infinite end on one side as opposed to both. And the last one is called a segment or more specifically a line segment. And, and all that a line segment is, is just a portion of a line. So a line extends infinitely on both ends but a segment just starts and stops a portion of it. So this is segment XY or line segment XY or line segment T, lowercase t. However, in um, geometry, we often find the idea of line and segment. They, they are often used interchangeably. So when, when in math, we see the word line AB. We might imagine it being an infinite line like this or a segment that starts and stops at a certain point. These are all labeled using two capital letters or one lowercase letter. Here are just a few examples. Line AB, ray PQ, line segment XY, or line lowercase e, ray lowercase s, or segment lowercase t. Okay, so let's keep going here. The next geometric object. These are called angles. So two intersecting lines form an angle. An angle is the measure of the circular distance between the lines. They are labeled using three capital letters with the common vertex in the middle. So let's first address this idea of intersecting. Here we have two lines, line AB and line BC. If we can imagine this extending forever, on both ends, we can see that these two lines, they meet at this point here. 
So this point is called the point of intersection. We can label, we can label this angle here as angle A, B, C, because B is the point that is in the middle of A and C. So this is angle A, B, C. Notice how we also give it a little symbol here. And that symbol is um, read out loud as angle A, B, C. This one here is angle X, Z, Y, because Z is where the angle can be found. See? We could also label it as Y, Z, X, Y, Z, X, because Z is still in the middle of Y and X, or in the middle of X and Y. Okay, so that addresses angles. The next thing we're looking at in geometry are just simply called shapes. Shapes are any object with an enclosed area. So if there's some sort of space on the inside of lines, this is called a shape. The main sorts of shapes we're going to be looking at in geometry, well at this level, are triangles, which are just three-sided shapes, triangle or three-angled shapes. Quadrilaterals, which is quad, meaning four. Laterals, meaning sides. So quadrilateral literally means four-sided shape. And the last one is a circle, which we'll look more into that later. But notice how we label these as shown. So triangles get their special symbol. We put the triangle symbol beforehand. So we label and read this shape as triangle ABC. And once again, notice how these are made of points, even though, well, not even though, I didn't put a big dot on these, but I'm sure you can imagine a dot existing here. So there is a point on these uh, corners of the triangle. So this is why we use capital letters for shapes. So this is triangle ABC. This is another triangle, PQR. So triangles are the only ones that get a special shape, uh, shape, whereas everything else we have to state what it is. So this is the square W, X, Y, Z. And notice how they're going in alphabetical order, either clockwise or anti-clockwise, like this one. This is going in alphabetical order in an anti-clockwise direction. This one here is rectangle, P, Q, R, S. And this one is just a four-sided shape. There's nothing special about this one. This is just quadrilateral A, B, C, D. All right, so that concludes the idea of how to um, label different geometric objects. Quickly going over these, we have points with capital letters, lines, rays, and segments with two capital letters, angles with three capital letters, where the middle angle is where the angle, oh, the middle point is where the angle can be found. And once again, they're using capital letters. And shapes, where triangles get their special symbol. And we read this as triangle ABC, triangle PQR, and the rest, we just simply state what sort of shape it is. Square, WXY, rectangle, PQRS, etc. All right, so I um, hope that gives you an insight into labeling geometric shapes. I'll see you in the next video where we go through a few examples, well, two examples, where we apply this skill. Hope to see you in the next video, and best of luck.